Hi, I'm Liz and welcome back. Let's talk about how to get motivated to declutter. Now, the internet is bombarded with tips and ideas on how to get motivated to declutter. But through my years of experience with my clients, I realized that it boils down to why do you want to declutter? Why do you want to declutter? Why do you need to declutter? What is it that you want to change? Thank you for joining me today. And please like my page if you're on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, or subscribe to my channel on YouTube. And remember to hit that like button if you liked this video or enjoyed this video and share it with your friends or family if you think that it can bless them as well. So the big question is, how do women like us who are wearing so many different hats each day and who don't cheat by looking like we have everything under control, take back our homes and life, free from the chains of clutter? How do we simplify, get started, get unstuck, let things go and create more time so that we can truly focus on what is essential for a happy and healthy life with our loved ones? That is the question. And this show will give you the answers. My name is Lizelle Tenton and welcome to the Vanilla Essence Show. So why do you want to declutter? Now there can be many different reasons and my reason will most probably be different than your reason and your reason will be different than your neighbor's reason and most of our reasons will be different. Mine might be because I want to reduce stress. Yours might be that you want to feel more in control. Somebody else just wanted to create more space and to be able to move around in their home freely. So there are three questions that we can ask ourselves to determine why we want or need to declutter that will then motivate us to declutter. The first question is, what will your reward be? What is your pot of gold at the end of your rainbow? And we will get back to the answers of these questions a little bit later. And I also discuss them in much more detail in my book, Declutter. And the second question is, what is the pain that you want to address? What is the pain that you want to fix and remove from your life? And the third question is, what is it that you want in the end? What is it that you want it to look like? So let's start with our first why which is question number one. What will your reward be, your pot of gold at the end of your rainbow? Now, it can be something like, I'm just going to quote from my book. It can be something like, I want to fall on my couch, admire my handiwork and really feel very proud of myself. Or it can be, I want to invite friends over and pop a bottle of champagne and celebrate with them. Or it can be that you want to go and buy yourself something that you really wanted for a very long time because you have decluttered your home. Uh, there's many, many reasons or many, many ways that you can reward yourself. And that reward becomes one of the whys um, you are decluttering that then also becomes a motivator. And the second question is, what is the pain that you are trying to fix? Now, in this case, there is also a lot of examples, but this can be something like you want to reduce stress and anxiety. You want to feel more like you're in control of your home. You want to know where your stuff are. You want to eliminate all the frustration that you're experiencing. You want to better the health of a loved one, or you just want to create more space. And the third question was, what is it that you want in the end? What is it that you want it to look like? Now, the answer to this question also becomes the vision that we will have for our home. And I'm going to read to you what I wrote down for my home. So I asked the question, what do I want it to look like? Once I'm done, no items will be standing around on any surfaces. I can use my surface space again and see what I have. I can sit down at any time and this workspace without having to move things around. This helps me to focus on what is really important and not be distracted by all the clutter standing around all the time. All items has a specific place 
and I know exactly where what is. Cupboards and drawers is not filled with stuff that we never use or don't need. All that I've kept are good quality items. We can sit around the table as a family and have dinner together. I can breathe again in my own home. Now that becomes one of my greatest motivators. Now by answering these three questions, you have determined three reasons why you want or need to declutter and what it is that you want to change. And over time, these three reasons, these three whys will be your greatest motivators. These are the things that will keep you going when you get tired, when you get discouraged, when it feels like you just don't have any energy left to keep on going, like the task in front of you is impossible. Then you go back to these answers and you remind yourself of your why. You want to do this because of the reward that you're going to get at the end. You want to do this or you are doing this because of the pain that you want to remove from your life. That can be tons of frustration, that can be stress, that can be always looking for stuff, that can be always falling over stuff in your home and maybe the fear of getting hurt. And then your vision also is one of the whys that you want to declutter, that the way that you want your house to look like in the end. And constantly reminding yourself of these whys, you will stay motivated and be able to push through the hard times and be able to withstand your comfort zones being stretched and push through to be able to make that change. And change is not always easy, but change is good and always worth it. Thank you for joining me today. And please like my page if you're on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, or subscribe to my channel on YouTube. And hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And also share it with your friends and family if you think it can bless them as well. And remember to tune in again tomorrow when I will talk about, oh, before I forget, I will talk about how to simplify your life. Make sure not to miss that.